The 2022 edition of the annual Mushoesho Walk, which traces or rather retraces the path of uh, Basoto King Mushoesho I walked as he led his people to the safety of uh, Tabisobosiu natural fortress in the 19th century, takes place from the 10th of March. The three-day journey of approximately 116 kilometers aims to rekindle the spirit of unity amongst Basotho as it embodied in the legacy left by the founder King Mushoesho I. Tabu Maritlele is the organizer of the walk and he's joining us now via Zoom to tell us more about the event. Tabo, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Spiro, and your viewers, man. I mean, 116 kilometers. I mean, this, this walk is definitely not for the faint-hearted and 116 kilometers is absolutely no easy feat. But I suppose we need to focus on the sense of purpose of this particular walk as it benefits, uh, you know, the underprivileged children of Basutu by providing them school uniforms and other necessities. First of all, tell us about the history of the Moshuesha walk. Okay, my man. Um, Kim Moshuesha was born in Mengwane in 1786. Then, yeah, 1810, he went to Wuta Wuta Way, got settled with his people. But unfortunately, the place was not safe enough for them to settle there. Because what made them to be aware that this place is not safe? That's when Queen Manta Teach challenged Kim Mushosho the first, the first woman to challenge Kim Mushosho the first. Then they decided to say, we have to move out of this place because uh, the place was not safe enough. So the, his brother, Mutimwe, uh, Mahal and Mutim, where they went south of Lesotho to looking for a better place when they were still hunting. So they arrived at uh, um, Kiluan. And that area was called Kiluan before it was called Tababusi. And when they arrived, they, they see the flat mountain next to Kiluan, which they can graze on top if they've got about six entrance to go on top of that mountain. Mm -hmm. If they're well guarded, nobody can go on top of that mountain. Then they went back to Kim Mushashu and told him about the place. Then he sent 25 warriors to go and see the place. It is, is it safe enough? So yes, then they realized it's safe enough. Then in 1824, they decided to move from Bota Bota to Mengwane. It was the harvest time. After the harvest, then they left at night. To the people, they thought that they went back to Bota Bota. Then they took the uh, road to, to, to Tawakusim. They took nine days. On the way, they met the cannibals and they ate the grandfather of Kim Mushashu, the first uh, poetry and they left only his collar bones. And then from there, Kim Mushoesha said, no, we can't kill these people. I want to know where my grandfather's grave is. So then, then that's when uh, they find these collar bones. In Sosotu, we call them Dipetu. There is a village there, uh, which is existing now, which is called Dipetu. Then we part all this, the Pitain Caves, and Madimu, where they used to eat people and live. Uh, uh, there is a cave there. Even now, there's still some, there's still some blood stains on the on on the on the rocks there where they used to slaughter people. Mm. And what causes the cannibals uh, is because of the war between the tribes. People were running all over the show. They couldn't settle around place, so they were looking for a better place where they can settle. But yeah, because of the war, they couldn't. So then they end up eating young ones and the old ones because they couldn't run, they couldn't walk. So that's the whole idea that caused uh, uh, the caused the cannibals. Okay. So then, yeah, we walk on the footstep of Kim Mushoesha the first uh, because of that history. That's why we have this the primary country, objective of this walk? South Africa. What's the Sorry. primary objective of this walk, though? Well, it's, it's just to remind us who are we, where are we coming from, why mm. we have this country, which is called Lesotho at the moment. So then, and again, you remember Kim Mushoesha, we have Zulus, we have Khazars, we have every tribe in Lesotho, because Kim Mushoesho was welcoming everybody when they were running away from the Spear of Shaka and uh, other uh, tribes. So then the main important issue is said, okay, let's come and remember uh, those uh, things that Kim Mushoesho did for us. And we are proud of Lesotho because of that. Okay, and this year, the walk celeb well, is commemorating 15 years of existence. Tell us more about this and how uh, this particular event has grown over the years. Yeah, we started in 2007 and about 40 people. And the last time we were there in 2020, we had about 750 people. Mm -hmm. And it means it's growing. And again, we always do social responsibilities on the way. And again... It's, it's 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 all about uh, the importance of knowing uh, who are we, and I think the other important issue is this: 
every year we choose a certain village where we are going to say, okay, how are you going to help those people? Like last year, in the 2020, we built a preschool in Hasetza. This year we're building a church at Hamakorana Seventh-day Adventist Church. It's completed. So then we are just waiting for the day that when we pass there, then we give it to the uh, Seventh-day Adventist uh, president. And there are other things that we do. We buy school uniforms, we buy uh, shoes. We normally make sure that they send it, that we live around those villages. Another important issue is those villages that we pass through, we don't take food. We always buy food from them. We buy snacks yeah. from them. Like Mangangajan, I don't even know Mangangajan, they try uh, peaches. It's a very nice, nice meal. Mm -hmm. So then, yeah. And okay. I think the most important behind this issue was that let's make sure that the uh, village people around those areas, they benefit out of, after Musha Shawa, they should take their school, their children to school. They should have something on the table. Sure. Okay. For themselves. Now, okay. Now, now take us through the program, uh, Tabo, and what activities uh, will be taking place during uh, the walk and uh, who is eligible to take part? Yeah, well, the Minister of Tourism, obviously, she's going to be there when we start. And mm -hmm. yeah, there are some high degree trusts that are going to be there, which we can't mention because of the security reasons. They've been there for the past five years. So then, yeah, they are still going to be there. And, and uh, another uh, embassies, they are going to be involved with the ambassadors uh, from Shosho Walk. And yeah, we are going to leave on, on, uh, on, on the 10th. Seven o'clock in the morning. Before we leave, we are going to plant the trees at Mehwane. Then we hit the road to Taba uh, That's where we are going to spend our night there. Uh, because of the rivers, uh, they're overflowing. And yeah, one river, the, it was, the bridge was washed away. So then we are going to, not going to go to Arama Pepe. We are going to sleep at Taba Primary. Primary. Mm -hmm. Then four o'clock in the morning, uh, on the second day, which is going to be on the 11th, we are going to leave to 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 Madimo. so then yeah we are going to arrive at Madimo around 10 o'clock in the evening then the last day then we leave uh, at uh, at Madimo around seven o'clock in the morning arrive at top of the cultural village around three four in the afternoon so that then the, the top of the cultural village is just underneath uh, okay. Uh, it's on the foothills of Tawabusibu. Just briefly, so Tabo, unfortunately, we're out of time. Where can people get more information if they want to uh, to be a part of this walk? Okay, they can get it on our Facebook page, on our website, and uh, Facebook page is Mushosho uh, Walk. Then our uh, website is www.mushoshowalk.com. Uh, so, yeah, we are inviting everybody to come to Lesotho and, yeah, they, if they need more information, said they can get their tickets at Compute Ticket uh, and Shop Right Checkers. That's where they can get their tickets. They are still there. There are two packages, 1,000 for those who does not want to be catered for, 1.8 for those, 1,800 for those that they want uh, to be catered for seven meals. Okay, so I suppose then people should start dusting off their walking shoes, isn't it? 116 kilometers. Oh, so 116. Do oh, my feet. <laughs> First day we do 31, second day 54, last day we do 31. So, yeah. Sure. And you have to be prepared psychologically. No of course, matter of course. Are, yeah, it's a mental, it, yeah, it's a psychological issue uh, before it becomes a physical one. Tabo, lovely chatting to you, man. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much, Simpe. Have a good day, my man. Thank you. You too, man. Thank you. That was Tabo Maritele, the organizer of the Mushoeshoe Walk, which will be taking place uh, next week, Thursday.